Hi, this is Chaz Palminteri, and if you're thinking about getting your eyes done, the only person to see is Dr. Rothman of LASIK of Nevada. I flew all the way from New York to be here, and Dr. Rothman did my eyes. And all I could say is, it's a miracle. I could see. You see Dr. Rothman of LASIK of Nevada. And you know, I played that theme song. Did you? Yes. I was just playing along and I was kind of like, you know, kind of zippity zapping there. And it's like, you know, I played that theme song. Very proud of you. So that's what I did a long yes. time ago. This is our 50th episode. 50! Can't believe it. Oh my God. Time is flying. 5 0. -oh. It feels good to be 50. What, what? 5 0. -oh. What? <laughs> so, first off, welcome to the live studio audience. Yeah! Woo! And as always, welcome to the live chat room. Hey, guys. Chat room! Go on, David. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, if you're not in the live studio audience or in the chat room but would still like to get a hold of us or talk to us, you can always do that at pubcrawl at vegasvideonetwork.com. That's pubcrawl, the little at thing, vegasvideonetwork.com. Also, follow us on Twitter. We're getting lots of followers because um, I check in using Foursquare. I just got ousted as a mayor this week. From where? Pioneer Grill in Maui. So oh, that's I couldn't I'm really sorry. Control, <laughs> couldn't really control that one. Uh, but we are the LV Locals. The network is Vegas Video Network. Um, Call free listener line. Give eight, us the number. 866-966-4599. <laughs> I know it because I call it every day. You're good at numbers. You're excellent at numbers. <laughs> um, I hooked up my Roku because we're on Roku. We're the best thing on Roku. We are. Yep. <laughs> Everything else costs money, but you put on Roku, you go right to us, we're free. You should know that of all the hosts, I've asked all the hosts so right. far, right. and you're the first that has successfully hooked them up. Oh, and really? Two people say, uh, well, we tried to hook it up, but we forgot our password to our Wi-Fi. Oh. oh. So they, they can't connect to it. Like, oh, well, see, we, our, just, we just remembered our password. Well, ours is like easy because it's, oh, wait. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, uh, but... No, it, it was kind of weird because I had to run upstairs and go on the computer and then come back down and you have to go up. You have to do a couple of those things. But it worked. I mean, I can't believe how easy it is. You know what I think it's made for besides everybody? But you know what? I mean, they designed it um, like for parents and stuff because it's got like four buttons. Yeah, the remote is so easy it's to like use. Forward, it's like fast forward, rewind, play, and stop. And then there's like, there's not even, okay, I got a little a tangent. <laughs> Every remote has a million numbers on them, even if it's a DVD player. What are those numbers for? You can't put in know, crazy you know programming. What I mean? So it doesn't have all that craziness. It's just play, stop, rewind, fast forward, and then like a home and like an enter button. You it's can like just a, you select your favorite channels and watch those. And it's you're, really good. You're set up. And if you have, you know, like it, you know, like Netflix and stuff, it'd be great. We don't. We just watch Vegas Video Network shows. What's all you need to watch? That the uh, live shows are there now. What's that? We just added the live stream to Roku. Oh, I haven't really? seen that. Yeah, so haven't. this is actually available right now on Roku. Oh, wow. Okay, awesome. Yeah, well, we just watched, we, all we did was watch 17 hours of us nonstop. <laughs> we took all of our clothes off. Right, cheers to us. We took all of our clothes off, opened three, three bottles of wine, and watched us. That's all we did. In high def. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa and I did the same thing. All right. We what watch you, you with, your <laughs> with your clothes off. You it's a little clothes. weird. <laughs> Um, anyway, so Roku is the bomb. Also, <laughs> iTunes. We're audio and video on iTunes and YouTube. We're all over YouTube, but we're just video on YouTube. Not that that's a downer. Just video is just, just fine enough. YouTube just does that. Even though they do have audio on YouTube, you ever like look up a song and it's like, I want to listen to blah, blah, blah. It's just the album cover and it plays, you know, which is kind of kind of convenient. At least you get to hear it. And if you have a Mac and know how to do it, you could steal that right off of there. Ooh. But I won't tell you how. <laughs> Not that I would do something like no, that. No, never. But anyway, without further ado. It's that time. 
Cocktail of the week. This week's cocktail of the week is probably going to stink. But I right, let's let's be optimistic. <laughs> And why would you say that? Well, because we just tried one and it was bad. So oh. I'm going to try to fix it. We're giving it all away. <laughs> because I think I, I, well, you know what? I didn't measure out. When I made it, I just kind of winged it. You know, do like a little tester. And it didn't work. So I'm going to do it this time by the book. I'm going to start. What's it called? A blue it's wave. a blue wave. Right. It's like a wave of blue comes over you. Um, light rum sounds good. Peach schnapps sounds good. Blue curacao sounds good. Sweet and sour mix sounds good. Blue curacao does not sound good to me. Who cares if it's just orange liqueur? I know, but every time I think about that, I think about like an adios. Like an adios. It smells like an adios. Yeah. It's orange. Yeah. Well, okay. But let's, it wouldn't be blue it. if you didn't have that. I know. It's good for the blue color. Something in here wasn't good, and I think it's the peach schnapps. So I'm going to go light on the peach schnapps on one and see if that helps. Okay. Okay. So it's one ounce of light rum in each. Um, I tried this new brand of rum because it was on sale at the liquor store. Well, at the wine store. By the way, we're liking wine. We'll have to go into that. We're going to become winos. <laughs> I said that like Hawaiian. Gonna We're be going to become winos. Okay. Um, okay. Half ounce of peach schnapps. Oh, that was our Largo Bay. Okay, half only ounce of peach schnapps. Here's the thing. I think I blew it. Because uh, if we only do a half, that's just that much. That's tiny. I think that's where I blew it last time. I think I did a lot more than that. Just a couple drops of peach, man. Because this can ruin your day. Let me smell that. See if that was the, well, see uh, the offender. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It smells like peaches. So many peaches. Wait, peaches for free. Name that tune. Okay, it's called Peaches. But name that band. Can I win money if I go to the strip? No. It's, uh, oh, you may be on. on uh, name that tune. On name that tune. It's, United, it's the presidents of the United States of America. There you go. How, okay, what's next? A uh, quarter ounce of blue curse. Quarter ounce. Let's see, I blew that too. That's only half as much as I did of that. So this might be a better drink yeah, than the you know what? thought. Yeah, you know what? Because that's a quarter ounce is nothing. All right. Well, it's not very okay, blue anymore. Okay, and two ounces of sweet and sour. Okay, that's a lot of sweet and sour. That's going to taste very margarita-ish. This is already looking better. Two ounces? About one and a half of those. That's the big one. Well, while you're pouring, I've got a drunk term. Oh, I like your drunk term. So you want to I guess think. what it is? Well, you no, know I know what it is. I don't know what it means. This week's drunk term is swallowed a sailor. <laughs> okay, now wait. <laughs> is, there, is there seamen involved in this somehow? It's a Maybe. family show. Maybe. No, actually, it means to be drunk on rum. Oh, it's a seafaring okay. seafaring kind of Navy kind of thing. Oh, is, is, is that where it's used? Yes. Uh, to, um, some of the better docks? Yes. Dock speak. Dock speak. It could also mean something else, you know. Swallowed a sailor? Yes. Oof. Okay, so stir, what do you think? Huh. <laughs> That's how you can tell Some, the drinks good. You always say, huh. Yeah, I don't know. Some people might like that. It's better than the first time. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's not bad. It's not, it's bad. not bad. It tastes almost chocolatey somehow, and <laughs> I can't figure out what's happening there. It's not. It's not great. So, and it's not bad. It's really sweet. If you like sweet. Huh. Yeah. All right. Try it yourselves. It's the blue wave. <laughs> it's the blue wave. Well, you know, hey, it's not for everybody. Can't win them all. Anyway, all right. so now we are going to take a break and have some very important messages. Stay tuned for these important messages. A Vegas video commercial. And then come back to uh, Pub Crawl Adventure. Traditional media believes that after about three minutes, you'll tune out. Most Vegas media companies think if it doesn't jiggle, you won't tune in. At the Vegas Video Network, we think both are wrong. The Vegas Video Network is the first and only live online broadcast network that specializes in insider news and expert views about Vegas. We combine great storytelling with the ability to watch when and where you want on your computer, mobile device, or television. Discover the real Las Vegas. Visit VegasVideoNetwork.com. Greatest commercial I've ever seen. It was awesome. Rat was in that commercial. Was he? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was just looking at one screen. Um, uh, well, no. welcome back. 
to Vegas Video Network. Okay. Pub Crawl. Yes. I'm Alisa. I'm David, and we have got a heck of an adventure for you. We're going to go through it pretty fast because I think it's we broke the record. It's a whirlwind. You think okay. so? Well, like I say, we do leave stuff out. We don't make stuff up. But I left a lot out of this weekend just because it was a lot of in-between places that we went to on the way to other places. But we'll start off Friday night with NerdFest 2011, something we've been looking forward to since the Star Trek convention. Yeah. At the Orleans Arena. By the way, that's at the Orleans Hotel and Casino. Actually, it's the big <laughs> arena. It's actually where our hockey team plays. Um, the Las Vegas Wranglers play at the Orleans. It's a huge place. We've seen a couple concerts there. It was... The Lord of the Rings concert. It was the Fellowship of the Rings. It was the first, first part of three. I'm hoping next year they'll come back. Mm -hmm. And then the year after. With two towers. Yep. It was basically this humongous screen, huge screen, with a full, like, 200-piece orchestra. It's like a boys' choir there was two, and yeah, men two, and women. Two sides of the stage were boys' choirs, the men and women's Chorus, choir in the front. Yeah. I mean, and basically they have a cut of the film with no music, and they just play it. Or they, they play it live. It's really cool. But it you, was. You forget that there's an orchestra there because that was so the good. only they, problem. So, the music is so perfect. Yeah, that was the only problem. I mean, they started and I had chills for like the first eight minutes. Like this is great. <laughs> and then, because yeah, she's like, you know, how, you know how Lord of the Rings starts. I mean, you better you better know how it starts. You know that she starts talking. It's like, uh, you know, the voices and they're all doing that. You're like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing. Um, but yeah, but how to, about halfway through, I'm just watching the movie. I'm not you, even noticing that. You know, made it even better. What? We, we brought some honey mead. Oh, we did. Yeah, so we were sipping on the mead. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Felt like a hobbit. Because, you know, if you bring in booze, you bring in booze to a concert one thing, but when you're bringing in mead to a Lord of the Rings concert, yeah. oh, come on. I mean, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> we thought that was a great, great show. So we saw that. Um, then it, we got out. Of, it got out later than I thought. It was about midnight. It actually lasted pretty long. So we're kind of hungry. Kind of thirsty, not ready to go home yet. It was it's Friday night. One thing I love, another thing I love about Las Vegas, when you're done with the concert in Las Vegas, you just go out afterwards. Mm -hmm. I'm used to concert is over, you're done for the night. Any other city, that's usually it. Let's maybe New York, you know, you can go out yeah. afterwards. But most places, especially California where we're from, when the show's over, that you go home. You, well, you sit in the parking lot for four hours trying to get out. Then by the time you get out, get on the freeway and get home, it's, it's three yeah, in the morning. Right. So we ended up going to the Monte Carlo. Uh, to the pub. Now, we hadn't been to the pub. We love the pub. It's got the, because for locals, it's always happy hour, which means it's dollar wings, dollar sliders, and two-for-one drinks all the time. Mm -hmm. If they're open, it's happy hour. You get your locals card at the, at the pub at Monte Carlo, which is at Monte Carlo, and it's always happy hour. So we went in there thinking we're going to get this deal. We got a better deal because it was a dueling piano night, which had just ended when we walked in, so we didn't have to listen to their whatever that Babble is, <laughs> but we still got the deal, which was two dollar drinks. And it was what? we got Jameson, Jameson and Diet for what? It's like three two bucks. bucks. Two bucks? Yeah, it was, it was four dollars for two of them. And I'm like, are you? Well, that's right. Because because we we know the guy. We're like, oh, we didn't have our card. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you don't need your card. Whatever. You know. I mean, I know you. You have your ID. We got the and we he he cashed us out because he was get taken off. And I'm like, can we have two more? Yeah, and he said <laughs> and he said no. You you have to go back to the happy. Oh no, you have to go back to the happy hour deal because that was just for when the. Right, so, oh. so then they went into like what four or four. They went up to four fifty. Yeah, like <laughs> oof, whoop de doo. That was great, but the kitchen was closed because I didn't realize the place closed. They have a last call, they um, pub crawl, and they have a last call. Great okay. place. Anyway, walked out in front of the, in the lobby. There are some friends of ours that also went to the Lord of the Rings concert. Right. So. They are. There's there's uh, Erica and Burke right there in the hallway. Let's go eat and do some stuff. So we went up to Diablo's, too big of a line, blah, 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 yada, yada. Um, we ended up at our local joint, Rum Runner, which is amazing. There's a couple in town, great burgers. They went up from 375 to 399 Well, you know, still a, it's still a deal, I'm like, though. what? <laughs> so, anyway, that was our Friday night. So Saturday started off just like any old Saturday does. We wake up and go, let's go to Vegas. We had no plans at all. I don't think, did we have any plan at all? We had nothing. Okay, this was a great mm -hmm. night, great day, because we had nothing planned. I thought we did, because we had confusion of this weekend coming up and last weekend, kind of got confused, and then Halloween's coming. This is a crazy week. I'm like, well, we got to get done early, because we got to go to, wait, we don't have to do anything. So we're free all day. So let's just do what we do on Saturdays, which is hop in the car and head to the strip. Drive and start roaming around. Right. Usually ends up at Palazzo because of the parking. 
So and, and it did because they got great parking. You just pull in there, go all the way to the bottom. Great parking. Mm -hmm. we're, we're completely playing it by ear. We're just ab, ab, just absolutely having an adventure. So going to the palazzo, you know, walking around, smelling the smells, seeing the sights, <laughs> doing her thing, and end up at your favorite place. My favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't call it that, but it's a it's the ah. Taqueria Cananita at the Venetian. <laughs> you have to say it because I can't say it. Oh, that's that why you wanted me to read it. <laughs> well, and I need to take a pet. Okay, well, actually, they they've got a great happy hour there. Oh, their beautiful. happy hour is one of the best in town, and, and it's a daytime happy hour. Yes, it is a three to six and nine to close. And I just found out last time we were there that they actually have a seasonal cocktail menu. I just thought they always had awesome drinks, right. but they had a whole new menu this time. So what, what did you get? I got one called the, the Project Mayhem. That was great. It was really good. I don't remember what I got, because it was the first drink of the night. Didn't you get a margarita? I got their margarita, which, because they're traditional, which means lime juice and tequila. That's it. Yeah, so like, those, those drinks are five bucks, and they've got beer So good. We got, and we got chip salsa and guacamole for $8. Which is a little much, but with the, the we just sat there. This is a daytime happy hour. So, so we, it's not, we just got there about three o'clock or whatever. Love the place. It's in the Venetian. It's between the Venetian Palazzo and that. I don't know. There's water right outside, like you know, in the gondolas going stuff. by. Yeah, that's whatever that's called. That's in there. It's a nice spot. Awesome. Um, the drinks are great and they're cheap. So what do you say? Three to seven and nine to closing, which is probably. And they like have the market. cleanest uh, bar in the world because every time somebody left. The bartender would run up and say, I need to sanitize the bar. We're like, geez. And it's a stone bar. Yeah. It's and like, <laughs> we watched somebody. Cleanest bar in town. And we watched somebody fall down, and they worked there. <laughs> that was funny. Some guy behind the, one of the bar backs, she goes, whoop, boom, right on his butt. And he <laughs> laughed about it. He's like, ah, I'm so crazy. And like, and we, we actually. <laughs> I fall down all the time. I know. We had a great time there. Um, and I actually started to get a little, little tipsy that early. I was like, whoa. <laughs> we had two drinks there, and I was like, well, this is, per this is too early to start getting, you know, whatever. Let's take a walk, shall we? Oh, yeah. So we walked down the Venetian, out in front. So the big CNN, Anderson Cooper thing, it was a big debate was happening yesterday or today or uh -huh. whatever. And that was all, it's like, oh, look, it's all cool. And it was 90 degrees this day, by the way. Beautiful. So we're That's walking nice. down the street with Sephora and whatever. We get to close to... Um, Flamingo, and it is off the chain. <laughs> There's like 10 million people at the Flamingo. Oh, it's Jimmy Buffett week. He's pl yes. He played, he was playing that night at MGM. So out in front of Margaritaville, that whole alley, which is going to be the link eventually, was just 10,000 people. Parrothead, Parrothead City, that's, that was their pre-party. Yeah, before the concert. So it's basically like um, the parking lot of the Jimmy Buffett concert, but it was just the alley between... O'Shea's and, uh, and the Flamingo. And it was crazy fun. Yeah, I, I, I had heard about these parrot heads and their parties and stuff, but man, they're crazy. They're cra like ha crazy hats. and. I, I, I liked them. It was fun. It was really cool people watching. Yeah. But man. That's a, it looked to me like a lot of people with a little bit of money. A lot of rich a, drunks just yeah, having a good time. Geeking having out great. on Buffett. We got a, we got a, we got a, a chat. It might be a, a parent head speaker. Please explain to me how somebody else is crazy in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this is my question, by the way. Well, not the chat. I'm just shocked by it. these people are crazy. Well, they, they, okay, they had grass skirts. And coconut bras, and huge sombreros with whole scenes on them, and those were the guys. Those were men, full-grown <laughs> men, smoking cigars with coconut bras, grass skirts, and it was there. There must be a contest for sombreros because one yeah, lady had a cheeseburger in paradise theme. She where, had to hold it when she was walking. Yeah, she had to walk so it. It was huge. I mean, it would. It, it was enormous. It had cheeseburgers <laughs> on it and all this stuff, and flamingos all around the outside. And her shoes had cheeseburgers on them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was fun. literally one of the funnest things. I was. I likened it to like a deadheads, but drunken rich people instead of just stoned hippies. Like it was like this is really fun. <laughs> you know, it wasn't like a bunch of dudes on acid. It was just people like drinking beers. They had. You know how time every time you go to one of these kind of things, there's not enough bars. There's usually one bar and the line's two miles oh, long. There was plenty of bars here. Not here, boy. It was like every two feet was a bar, cash only. But whatever. And then you get to the back, they're cooking burgers. 
Yeah. And the drinks weren't even marked up too much. They it was like seven bucks price. for a beer. <laughs> well, don't really. I mean, but you think about it on it's, the strip. It's still the same price. Yeah. Seven bucks for lunch. You're going to pay Margarita, Margaritaville. Um, it was a black. It was so fun, in fact, that we hung out there and closed it. <laughs> and it's happening again this Saturday, and we're going to go do it again. Yeah. I was like, we got to get a sombrero. I don't even like this Jimmy <laughs> Buffett fella. But, man, he, these people have some good times. Oh, and there's a band there. We knew some of the people in the band, some, some friends of ours. And they played Hot, Hot, Hot. and uh, All those party tunes. Yeah, you know, all that kind of stuff. And people were and it was big, you know, throwing the beach balls around. It was great. Literally amazing. We just stumbled into this, by the way. This is another one of those... Boy, I'm glad we live in this city. We just walked <laughs> in. Run around this. and run into this chat room. Oh. Nate wants to know: Did you have one of those big margaritas that they made there? No. In fact, we just in fact we were short on cash. We here's, we kind of went in. We we had enough for one land shark, which was okay. We were trying to walk off the Cananitas thing anyway. <laughs> so we had one land shark between us. We you know, and then we went in to go get some pull some cash. Pull some cash came out. It was kind of yeah. Out. By the time we found our way back out again. Yeah. So we're like, next <laughs> week we're gonna plan ahead. Everybody was gone. And there was just a bunch of trash all over the ground. Yeah. So. You had to go back. It was, yeah, it was, it seemed really, really awesome. I was like, okay. And I, they were cooking burgers outside. Oh. It smelled great. It was good. felt good. Oh, it was wonderful. So about this time, we start getting texts from friends. This is about the, this is about the texting hour. It's about seven. Hey, bitches, I'm playing a show. <laughs> and that's, that's from a girlfriend of ours who's, who's playing a show in the sticks. I was like, where is this? Hypnotic Lounge. This is the cr you want to talk a, about it's a pool hall. It's a pool hall out on Fort Apache, which if you don't know where Fort well, Apache is, I don't either. It's like there's mountains and it's right next to the mountains. Actually, we played putt putt about a block from there at the Vegas Video Network first annual, I mean inaugural, ina yeah. inaugural, inaugural uh, go uh, golf tournament was literally a block from there. And but this is at night. We had we went out there and. This was a crazy place, like dangerous crazy, but not because there were crazy people there. There were children there. And when I say well, children... It's an all-ages place, but like the children you think all-ages would be, you know, what, 16, 17? Right. Like maybe maybe 15? Right. Not because here. Because there was like these punk rock dads, and their kids are like five years old yeah, running around nine, with like mohawks and, playing and pool. Sitting, at the, sitting at the bar, which, you know, you think they could be in there. So, but it was like, Why? what? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, like a white. Hawaii again, like... Literally, up in, I swear to God, I thought one of them kids was going to turn into a, a, a donkey. I mean, you're literally <laughs> Pleasure Island. Yeah. You're literally on Pleasure <laughs> Island. It was like this is one of it's like, hey Lampwick, how about another one of them beers? I mean, I was like literally, I thought one of them's going to sprout a tail and ears. Like this is like, yeah, Pleasure Island. Well, Crazy. It, it actually inhibited. All shooting pool. It inhibited the band. This, this band we were watching. It was an all chick kind of Gigi Allen. Punk rock like band. over the top, over the top. And nor band. normally these girls do some pretty dastardly things, but they like there's children here. Right. Like well, their they, band uh, is called KFCS, and I can't even tell you what, what that means. You. <laughs> Knuckle fist C S. <laughs> I can't even. That's the name of their band. They're great. They're some of our best and they, friends. And they show all that stuff sometimes. Yeah, but that's no, crazy. This band. I oh, know they show stuff. You. you know what I mean. Yeah, we we were at Meatheads one time watching them, which is one of the diviest bars ever. Yeah. And that made people in dive bar go, whoa, did we just see what we thought we saw? <laughs> right. I mean, so anyway, there's nine-year-olds watching this band. It was, it was out of control. It out was fun. Out of control. They only serve beer and wine. I mean, they only serve beer. I mean, I don't know, did you see any wine? Yeah. Like those little Sutter Homes. Or yeah. Sutter beer Homes. Beer um, Anyway, craziness. Crazy. But anyway, the girls in the band are great. Um, they're they're Funny, they're dirty, they're nutty, they're. <laughs> so uh, we decided we should all go do karaoke. Let's all go do karaoke! <laughs> Woo! So we, we pack it all up, all the girls, all of us, we all head over to formerly Hot Shots, no, formerly Kelly's Pub, now Hot Shots, yep. over on Pecos and Trop. We've mentioned it before, it's a killer karaoke spot. Um, went in there and tore it up in that place. But the lady who used to work there used to run the karaoke. She's Leslie. gone. Leslie's gone. And we got to find out where she went because she was great. I really liked her. Um, they have a new guy. Frank. Right. Who's a little coolie McCoolster. Don't judge. We just met the guy. I know, but I'm just, I, you know, when you got more than one wallet chain. Come on, dude. <laughs> How many wallet chains do you need? You know what I mean? I mean, I got one, but it's, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a Great oh, time. Okay. We, had a, we had a great time. And something that's going to lead to the tip of the week later uh, at about 5, 4 in the morning or whatever, loaded. We're like, okay, I'm hungry again. Well, I don't think when we ate. Um, we ate at Cananita. That's all. 
put some. No, we did go to Mr. Chow Chow or Chop Chop. Oh yeah. But no, that's, a, that's one of the things we leave out. We Mr. did go to Mr. Chow. Mr. Mr. Chop Chop. Mr. Chow is Mr. Chow. Yeah, yeah, a new 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 Thai place opened up. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. Um, so we ate. That. So anyway, we were starving. We ate it. we went across the street to Putters. <laughs> Had some strombolis at like five in the morning with the girls from the band, and we finally hung out there long enough to get home by dawn. So, yeah, but that'll called, lead to called that something night. else. But that was just Saturday. That wasn't even the day. Sunday is Pub Crawl Adventure Day. <laughs> so right. now we're heading out to, to do the show. Right. So now we got to do something for the show. <laughs> yeah. Now it's uh, like, now it's Sunday. Not enough. <laughs> we got an email a couple months ago. Someone said, "Hey, have you guys checked out Bahama Breeze?" Which our answer was. No, Hell no. <laughs> um, so we thought, I had an idea. I had a spark of an idea in the morning, which was about noon. Um, well, I know it was because we were supposed to meet some friends for the Steeler game, and it started at 10, and we woke up, and the game was already over. So Yeah, we're like, where are you guys? We're like driving home. They're like, we're heading home. <laughs> oh, like we were oh. supposed to go to Toby's and watch it with them, but we couldn't, couldn't get up in time. But we'll explain that later in my tip of the week. Um, so Bahama Breeze. Oh, no, no, no. My idea was, let's do cantinas all day. Like, there's a place called Cantina at the Tuscany, which is that little weird little place. It's not little, but that weird place behind mm -hmm. valleys. It's kind of nice. Um, and then there's, like, Cabo Wabo and all these cantinas, Diablo's Cantina. Let's just do an all-cantina day. How fun would that be? Chips and salsa everywhere, nothing but margaritas. be a great adventure. So we go to uh, the cantina at Tuscany. It doesn't have a cantina. It's doesn't just a little diner. Yeah, it doesn't place. have a bar. Well, so we so left. We, so we got back in the car, and as we're pulling out, there's Bahama Breeze. Hey, we got an email about going to Bahama Breeze. So we went into Bahama Breeze. Take it away. Oh, my God. I love this place. Too. The, the decor is awesome. The place is huge. Uh, apparently on Friday nights, which we got to go back, they've Friday got live. Saturday. Oh, it was Friday and Saturday? Oh, they've got a live music with the uh, field drums. So you can feel all tropical. Making another one? You want one? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sir, the drinks are amazing, and they're not even, they're like about seven bucks. I, I can't believe, in fact, I Twittered, what did I Twitter about it? I said, whoa, the drinks here at Bahama Breeze aren't all that pricey. Most signature cocktails are under seven bucks. They're like six twenty-nine per drink. I, I was got, amazed. You got a mojito cubano. Yeah, that was a little And I got a lemon a ginger heavier. mojito, yeah. which was strong and the best drink ever. Yeah, your, yours was insanely good. We got, uh, I got wings, which were cheap. <laughs> You're flicking stuff It's out. water. <laughs> Um, I got wings that were cheap, but they were, I got four wings. You go, four wings. You can get them four, four or ten. Oh, no, they're, they're the whole wing. They're pterodactyl wings. They're the whole wing. They're huge. I like when they give you the whole wing, like the, the knuckle thing and the, then the, yeah. and this part. The little floppy part. That's part. <laughs> um, so, and no, it was great. I was like, this is, uh, I was blown away. Ooh, it, ooh, they squeezed their own uh, sugar cane. Oh, they do. That was cool to watch. They had a machine that crushed the sugar cane for, for the mojitos. Yeah. Great. It's all Caribbean. The um, uh, bartender's really cool. His name is Bob from Chicago. Absolutely. Nice guy. Now is going to be now is literally going to be one of our places we go to all the time. It's so good. They're happy hour. They have, don't they have a happy hour? Uh, they do. Monday through Friday, four to six. It was like half off. I don't remember what it was. Which is like so. three bucks a drink. Yeah, because the drinks were not. They're not that much to start. Stoked. And really good ingredients in their drinks. I mean, Would you you ate something, didn't you? Um, what did I have? You had the wings. You got something. I remember. I, I seem to have focused on my drink. They were great. <laughs> Everything about it was really, really good. Um, I, I, I was blown away. One of my favorite places. The weird thing is, the address is 375 Hughes Center Drive. Don't even listen to that. That is ridiculous. It's on Restaurant Row. Yeah, it's, it's next to McCormick and Schmitz and P.F. Chang's. And, I mean, it's right. It's on Tropicana and Paradise. It's right where all the restaurants are. Lowry's, all that. It's right there. It's Hughes Center Drive. That's, that was, if you told me that's where it was, I'd go, I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's kind of like around, right, right around the back. Morton's, all that's right there. Uh, uh, Kitty Corner from Terribles. There you go. Awesome place. I want to go back. Blown away. We will go back. I'm totally stoked. So anyway, came out of that place. Like, that was great. Well, now what do we do? So let's continue our cantina thing, right? Quest for cantinas. So I was like, well, let's go to one of our least favorite cantinas, Cabo Wabo Cantina. <laughs> oh, right. Where the food is bland and the drinks are way overpriced. Right. So let's go there. Um, <laughs> but we had a thing. We had a, uh, our good buddies, Ira. Was it Ira gave us a, Ira and Marie gave us a uh, yes, coupon? Yes. Which we haven't seen in a couple of weeks. Um, gave us coupons for free nachos at Cabo Wabo. Oh, well, that's what happens. But, um, <laughs> and the problem was, once we got, um, once we almost got there, you read, Free nachos with purchase of entree. Yeah, but if, but if you flip the coupon, 
Two it's for one margaritas. Two for one mar blended margaritas. So, blended drinks. Well, first of all, you don't like blended margaritas? Well, we'll no. explain that. I like blended margaritas. No. Yeah, well, wait, 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 wait. Devil's margaritas that are blended. Well, okay, are fine. those, those are fine, but usually they blend them and they're way too weak. They're just a bunch of mixers. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Right. Nice. But I've had a blended margarita at my place. Well, okay, if, if you make it yourself, because that, well, yeah. that's, that's usually the problem. People want to skimp you and just put one shot. Right. And you're uh, actually supposed to have like half, at least half. Fair enough. Bill G wants to know, on average, how long do you stay at one place? Funny enough, we learned this in Maui. Not very long. Because in <laughs> Vegas, we... Well, what, how do we learn that? We learned it in Maui because we're like, we just, we'd end up jumping, we ended up jumping beaches like that. And we were like, why are we going to the next beach? You know what? It's the Vegas mentality. It's the, okay, we had a, a drink, maybe two at this part. Next place, boom. Because we've got so much here, you just can't wait to see what's next. What's around that corner? So we just, we have two drinks and we go. We were snorkeling in paradise. <laughs> I'm like. Plus, I'm married oh. to this guy, Mr. A, Mr. Well, yeah. ABB. So it's like. <laughs> so, He's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, so we, we but even in Maui, we, we like jump in, we're like, oh, wow, look, a fish, a turtle. All right, let's go. And we get in the, we get in the rental car. There's something better at the next Right, and we're, back, we're heading up the coast, and we get in, look, another turtle, let's go. And so we end up. We did that. We did. We ended up hitting like 12 beaches a day, because we're like, I next think beach. We, I think we would drive a lot of people insane. Well. <laughs> we, how, how quick we jump around. Yeah, well, so. so, what, so what's the average? Maybe like, I don't know, depending an, on like the vibe hour? of the place, an hour. If it, if it sucks, we'll leave. We were Bahama Breeze for maybe 40 minutes, an hour, maybe. Oh my God, but you love that place. It's yes. great. You were only there for 40 minutes. Yeah. If Melissa and I were there, we'd be there for four days. No, we'd be there for a long time. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. We, we were like, this is awesome. We, what's next? Go. We, I don't know. <laughs> we want to leave with a good impression. Well, no, you know, it's, I, it's, it's actually something we probably should work on and how to relax and, like, kind of just enjoy where you're at. But in Vegas, it's so easy to, it's like slot machines. You're like, this ain't winning, next. This one ain't it, next. <laughs> you know, it's like, you, know, you keep jumping around. Oh, this one sucks, next machine, you know. <laughs> or this dealer's terrible, next, next table. It's that kind of Vegas mentality. You just but, do but it. But when you Grass like something, don't you just kind of want to chill a little bit? Go, hey, okay. Well, it's well we will the places. next time. Like, we'll go to Blue Martini and sit there for all night. Or yeah. we'll go to Frankie's and sit there all night. Look, once we've been there, you know, Rum Runners, once those places. We've, we... Once we've established, like, we're going to be there for a while, that's maybe our last stop, then we'll hang out. Yeah, yeah, we'll hang out all night. If, um, I, say, if I say, tell them, think New Orleans. Okay. Oh, well, we'll yeah. We'll see even in okay. New Orleans. Well, in New Orleans is different. But we do the same thing there. We stay longer. We'll, we'll sit at Lafitte's Blacksmith, Blacksmith Shop for hours. Well, maybe two, then we're down the street to the next. <laughs> maybe two. You know, I mean, really, we kind so of that, the same thing that, there. That is longer, though. Yeah. We're, it's a little longer. Relaxing. Uh, Mick, Mick and Monster's just saying, lies. Micah. <laughs> Micah. Hey, Micah. <laughs> um, lies. But then, yeah, because they're in search for food. Because we'll be, okay, we're at Portocal. It's a really good burger. And you know what we've done there. We have eaten and then not eaten only as long as it takes to get to Acme. Oh, to walk to the next place, Or, yeah. or, or Felix's, whatever. I mean, <laughs> we will eat every, as long as it takes to get to the next place. I mean, it's that kind of mentality. <laughs> anyway, so. We want more, more, more. More, more, more. more, more, more. So, um, but we'll go back to Brahma Breeze and hang. Kind of just chill out. I want to go there at night and hear the music. You too. Um, so we do go into to Cabo Wabo. And we did get some. Gross drinks. You couldn't drink yours. No, I actually, I couldn't. And you were like, I mean, she was, it's it was pretty, obvious. Well, you, okay, here's. And the, it's pretty rare for me to push a drink away. But, the, right but this, you know what, you look, you, once you read the coupon, it's two for one, 12 blended, ounce blended cocktail. Blended cocktail. That's not even cocktail. saying what, it's, that's one of the things out of the machine, you know, out of those daiquiri machines. Yeah, I'm like, how often do they clean those things? And, and, how, and, like, and how much booze? Gross. You know what? Those are the same machines that Stations gives out the fr the dollar margaritas. Oh, with. and we fell into that trap before. Yep, at Station at uh, Where was Fire, it? Uh, Wildfire. Wildfire, which yeah. Which is owned by Station. And we went, hey, the margaritas are a dollar. We'll take one. And it's this little cup, like a urine specimen, and tastes about the same. So and it's like blended sweet and sour mix, and you taste it, it was. So like Whoa. terrible, terrible. And, and then this, that, that's the place I ordered an extra uh, shot of tequila. For another dollar, right? To try to salvage that nasty drink, and I still ended up like. Well, that happens like, a lot. It. I've had a couple of those mm. right. margaritas where uh, we talked about a place in, in front of um, Caesar's Palace that had blended margaritas, and mm. it was literally just frozen snackus maximus. Snackus maximus. Like what the hell? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, well, that's what they do. 
In fact, if Mike is watching, she's in. She lives in the in the the world capital of daiquiri. those daiquiri machines. Yeah. Now they might put some booze in them down there. I don't know. We've never ordered them. But you walk in, they have those big machines. They like eight of them with a the spinny, you know, thing. They just they just pour it out and hand it to you. It's like I don't know. I want you to make it because I want to see if you're putting any in that. Because you know what they do in that. Here's two gallons of daiquiri. We're gonna put exactly three quarters of an ounce per shot per drink in this. So they pour, you know, and that's like you're only getting uh, whatever. So yeah, Cabo some Wabo, of us like the taste of alcohol. Have you guys <laughs> have you guys ever been to the Caribbean before? No. Because no. they have those same machines there, right? And they're full of alcohol. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, see, it's funny they have them at Hooters, and people were getting them at Hooters and said they're really strong there. Remember out in the, at, by the pool at Hooters, Hooters Hotel and Casino. Um, hmm. But we never, we <laughs> never do it because they're like twelve bucks and they're that they're that tall. But we're a little I'm, I, that much sugar. I, we're always on some kind of diet or other. So, um, <laughs> but chat room. Oh. Tony TT says the ones at Golden Gate are very strong. Really? Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Downtown might be a different story too. Hard to say. That is downtown. Maybe but, just stations in Cabo Wabo then. Are yeah. Well, Cabo Wabo is. I look. I love the location. I love the theme. I love the whole idea of it. We go there all the time, even though I don't like it. And the only thing I don't like about it is uh, the food might be better. The last time we were there, it was really bland. Um, no. For Mexican, now you know we are nacho people. And their nacho situation is appalling. Someone needs to call somebody and get somebody in to fix the nacho situation. Because they only have this like dumb build your own nachos. And it's like 30 bucks and then everything else is 20 bucks to put on it. So you've got $2,000 nachos. I hated it. <laughs> It's way overpriced and way not, not overpriced. worth it. But now, now granted, they could have got, if they get a new, uh, if they've replaced a chef or something, it might be okay. But the last time was, the last five times. So we don't eat there, but we did sit there for a good amount of time. We did. It was a it nice was day. It was nice. We had some crappy drinks, but whatever. And well, we did sit plus there. Plus, I was trying to get that thing down for like, what an hour. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's it started becoming not blended by the time it was. Yeah, big, I was like. Whoa. But so then, to, sat, to, to save it. Because we're like, okay, that wasn't great. <laughs> but you know what's next door? As you're sitting there in front of Cabo Wabo, look at the strip, and there's Cosmo, and there's the fountains at Bellagio. You go like this, and you see the Eiffel Tower. Yes. And the Eiffel Tower thinks, makes you think of only one thing. <laughs> Two for one martinis at the bar in the middle. They have, you talk, yes, we, the La Central Bar. La Central <laughs> Bar at Paris is amazing. It's from, what's it, 12 to 7? Yeah, every, every one to day. Seven. Yeah, when it's no, 12 to 7. 12 to 7, mm -hmm. every day, two for one martinis. That means... That's any any martini you want. You, you name can have it. like a sissy vodka one, or you can have just a straight <laughs> gin martini like we had. I mean, <laughs> it, the only problem with that place is that, A, if, you've, if you're by yourself, you're screwed. Because, yeah, you, they'll, they'll give them both at the same time. Yeah, here, here so you you're, yeah if you're by yourself or with somebody sober or <laughs> here's with some... A, here's a bucket of gin. <laughs> yeah, the basic is what it is. So if you... <laughs> you have to go with it. You have to go a team. If you go in solo, you're doomed. And we've actually brought like a, like one other person with us before, and we always do the two for one, but we split. Right. And then they have they, they have two. the two, and so they're like falling off the chair. I know. Like, it's you like know. You, yeah, if you bring a third wheel, it's bad news because now you've got four martinis and three people. Um, but two for one, anything. So we went to this great Natalia. Yes, Natalia. She's so awesome, and so we're like. Uh, two gin martinis as we as we like it. She goes, do you want any vermouth in it? I'm like, not really. Um, maybe oh, just a little was, swish. Um, she was dressed as, as Wendy. Oh, ha because hamburger. it was a Wendy's convention. It was a Wendy's convention in town. Right, she, Wendy, uh, the burger Wendy. Yes. Not Wendy from Peter Pan. Right. Or Wendy O. Williams. That would be cool if there's a Wendy O. Williams convention. Right, she had the tape on. That'd yeah. be kind of, that'd be interesting. <laughs> Our younger viewers are like, hmm. <laughs> chat room. Uh, Wendy O. Williams is on and saying, I don't use the tape anymore. <laughs> Uh, Brett, Consider she died in '91, <laughs> which, ex which explains why <laughs> the, oh, the corpse the that tape was, fell off. I, that was hurtful. <laughs> uh, Brett and Lisa wants to know that that uh, drink deal at Paris is that just for locals or nope. for anybody? No, that's anybody. anybody. It's it's every day, even Saturdays and Sundays. The Central Bar. You know where it is? It's there's Gustav's Bar and there's all those crazy bars, but it's the one in the middle. It looks like a gazebo. It's the killer one. It's the one you and I used to hang out when you talk about hanging out a long time. We would hang out there before we lived here. And when all we were just night. when we were just dating, like years and years ago, right. we'd go hang out there all night and just like watch hookers. Yeah, watch hookers. Because that was a, it was a <laughs> that was our hooker hunting. It used to be a great hooker <laughs> spotting place. I haven't seen a lot lately, but it's at late night because it's kind of a you know it's kind of a little high end place. 
there with you. There, you watch oh, him God, working yeah. and watching him fail and watching him succeed. We, I mean, we talked to him all the time. Yeah, and and <laughs> how's your night going? Great bar, but now 12 to 7 every day, two for one. But the only problem with that deal is how many can you do? One, and we were out. We're like, yeah, you know, I'm, I've got a two martini limit a day, and I did one. I was like, okay, that's it. So we hightailed it out of there, and then since it's Sunday, and the last thing we ever want to do is go to Nine Fine Irishman. <laughs> it's like, went. let's go to Nine Fine Irishman. We Woo! Went. But on the way, we this, I think we, we did some little finagling. But we ended up going to, uh, what's that? Il Fernail. Il Fernail. Ooh, that was very... Very in New York, New York. We in New York, New York. We did make it into New York, New York. El Forneo is a restaurant. Mm -hmm. We got a pizza, which wasn't very good. We've eaten there before. It was great. And it wasn't that the pizza wasn't good. We ordered poorly. I got suckered in by the prosciutto. I'm like, there's <laughs> prosciutto on it. I didn't know it was going to be just cold prosciutto laid on top of a piece of crust with some arugula thrown on top. That's what it was. I was like, oh, this could have happened. Oh, well, live and learn. But that was our fault. That was our fault. Everybody else had stuff. No, that was your fault. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but we wanted wine, which is getting into our new wine thing, and we wanted, I wanted bread. And they have that, you know, they've got all those Italian breads. And it's like, okay, that was, it was great. Mm -hmm. But so they were like, let's go to Nine Fine Irishmen because we're never supposed to go there on Sunday. <laughs> right. And now why are we never supposed to go there on Sunday? Because the band is so awesome and we drink too many Jamesons. Right. <laughs> it's a, it sucks you in that place. And it's a fortune. Um, it's one of the best bars in the world. It's the Irish bar in New York, New York. And it's, the band is great. And I, when I say great, I mean beyond great. I love it. Um, they're called Rira. And not like the bar Rira, but, the exact, but it is meaning the same thing. Um, and, but the problem is we got, like, you get Jameson and Diet. I get a Jameson Diet. Let's get two Guinness. Let's get another Jameson Diet. And it's $80. It's too much, yeah. It's like, oh, I hate that. But it's one of those bars that if you couldn't believe it, if you have never been there, it looks, um, it's, all, it's all been shipped over from Ireland. Mm -hmm. So everything is like, I don't know, it looks like you're in a castle. It's amazing. But it's well, we actually didn't end up staying out too late that night because you got a call. You got to go meet somebody. Mm. Why don't you got to go see a band? I That's did. So, so I, I actually went. I was a good girl and I went home. Yeah, well, we went home. I had an early night. And I'm like, okay, I got to go downtown because I got a, a really good friend of mine is playing in this new band called High Voltage. They were playing the Las Vegas Country Saloon, which is downtown Las Vegas. I haven't been downtown since the Ray Guns stopped playing. I go downtown, like flat, flat, uh, flashback, um, chat room. Oh. Question about high voltage. Did right. you just get a new singer? Uh, yes. I know. Actually, I am two degrees separated from that. Really? My uh, you know Melissa's what? good friend at work. Right. Uh, her friend's husband is that new singer. Uh, well, there's two singers in the band. There's a Bon Scott and there's a Brian Johnson. Now, I know the Brian Johnson guy. He's my singer, as a matter of fact. One of my singers that I'm working with. In right one now. of the bands that you do that I know about? Uh, not yet. Uh, well, one you know you about. Know that will be. Band. Right, right. But Because we were talking about this weekend that he got this gig and his first gig was this weekend. Oh. This Sunday. Right. Well, he must be the Bon Scott. Okay. Awesome. You, I know it is. Cool. Because... Was he good? This, this, I didn't see him. I walked oh. in just in time to see my guy. I heard him at the end. I know he's new because, I know they're both new because High Voltage used to have one singer that did them both. That guy's gone. They got a new, a new guy to do Bon Scott and my guy that does Brian Johnson. That's cool. So that's kind of funny. So I go to see Joseph, a really good friend of mine, um, and singer in this project I'm doing right now, um, do High Voltage, AC, ACDC Tribute. It's a really cool show. Uh, first off, the venue. Uh, Las Vegas Country Saloon isn't that at all. I mean, it's in Las Vegas. But it, it's, <laughs> I guess it's country. They took it's the country. bull out. They, well, they have all those, like, cowboy and cacti and ki coyote paintings up on the wall. Yeah, but it's not really it's, <laughs> coyote. It's, 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 it's literally on the corner of Las Vegas, Boulevard, Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street. It's right upstairs from Mickey Finn. Right, and the big pint. It's the Bass Ale pint that's right on the corner. Um, the, uh, it's a cool place. We've been there. We go there all the time. We saw The Greatest Show on Earth there, the, uh, the Pretty Things Peep Show. Yes. About a year ago. Um, mm. The band is cool because they do the Bon Scott era, ACDC. Then they take a break, which they took too long of a break, I thought, because a lot of people got confused and left. And then they come back. Mm. They do the news reports of Bon Scott dying, and then they come back, and then, he, then the, new, the other guy does Brian Johnson. They were really good. I mean, they were fantastic. Um, so I, I, was, I was certainly impressed. It was, that was Sunday. You'd finally said, all right, that's yeah. it. They went on at 11. I stuck around for the whole show and then got home and 
that was. And that was the weekend. That was the weekend. <laughs> it wasn't all over from there because last night we did some stuff the night before, but that was that was the weekend. We're like, that was, that was enough. <laughs> right. We'll save the rest for next week's show. Right, right, because we did we did leave some stuff out. So, but all in all, great. But the only uh, <laughs> the only thing new was was Bahama Breeze. I give that a nine plus. I give it a nine as well. That was literally one of the best places, and that's a big chain. Um, another thing we've learned. You know what? The chain, I guess, isn't such a bad thing because there's. Oh, and I forgot to say the food prices were actually pretty reasonable too. Yeah, my four wings were like seven bucks. Or whatever. But I mean, they were the big wings. I mean, it was great. Yeah, everything about it was great. Nine, I, almost a ten. The only reason it wasn't a ten is, I don't know, there weren't strippers there. I don't know why it wasn't a ten, but. Midget strippers. Right. That would have made it a ten. <laughs> Easy. Um, anyway, a great adventure. I think we had a good weekend. Oh, I speaking of midgets. I, I learned something. I was actually looking for midgets to rent a midget. Right. You know how much they cost? How much do they cost? 500 bucks. Really? And a minimum of two hours. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's like, it does, doesn't yep. it? Oh. <laughs> but you know what's funny? It's double. I, I know that I, I saw a thing on, uh, I think it was HBO, Real Sex or something, and they were talking about that. Like, it's funny because <laughs> we're half size, but we're double the price. Hey, hey, hey. You know, like, whatever. That's true. They're expensive. Well, these are the girls. <laughs> but, uh, well, you know, it's funny. Yeah, it touches the floor. Let's look at their legs are that long. No! Hey! And I, <laughs> but when your legs are that long, you know, it's not really a big deal. All right. Anyway. Yes. What, do we do, what do we do now? I have, I have one email. Just checking. No, no. I'm just, I'm just checking. We have, we have one email. Though. You've heard enough from us. I might have to make me another drink. Just slow down here. And these aren't even that really that good, no. but we're kind of growing, kind of getting. Yeah. Uh, a little thing we like to call, "Hey, bartender." I didn't wear a watch. I didn't wear any of my stuff. Well, I have all my I think bangles. You can guess what, and, time, what time it is? And well, I always like to look and see where we're, how we're doing. Well, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not worried. Just live in the moment, man. All right. Well, <laughs> speaking of hearing from oh. other people, I think we got something from the chat room right now. I, I just want to, uh, speaking of watches, right. I want to do a shout out. Okay. What you're seeing here. Right. Take it. I can't. Looks like a, looks like a bracelet. Bring it on over. This was made. Now, we've got, we have our own, I, what I would call the Vegas Video Network jeweler. Oh, we, we got, hey, that's what, that was part of my bangles I'm talking about. This was made. Right. Oh, my Jacob hug. This is it. I just want you to see this. This is the man, the myth, the, the legend. legend. There he is. Hey. Right there. That's the magic. By the way, he does parties. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you charge? <laughs> Cheaper than a midget. <laughs> Cheaper than a midget. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I just wanted to say. <laughs> The best, the works. world's best uh, studio audience. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yes, Absolutely. Indeed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we have some of the best viewers there is. I, you know what? There is. There is. There are. Right. There it is. didn't sound right, but it. Yeah. Felt, there it are. Works. I mean, if you're gonna get technical, <laughs> I don't speak are. English so good. How's that monkey <laughs> wrench doing, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak so good. <laughs> we don't talk about that. All right. So hit me with your. Okay, I've got one from Simone asking, well, telling us actually. I'm coming into Vegas uh, for Halloween, and I don't know what to do. Do you have any suggestions? Funny thing about Halloween in Vegas is it happens here. It's insane, though, and you have to plan. Because what you're do. you know what's cool about what happens here is all the attractions do Halloween themes. Shark Reef is Haunted Reef. I think that's what we got to do. That that sounds so awesome. And I don't, I, what do they do? They put costumes on the sharks. Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine how cool is that? <laughs> Yeah, it's like, we, it's like, look, it's a witch. Oh, no, it's a shark. Just like a witch. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my God. How great is that? But no, you know, because the shark reef is, you know, you're, you are in these little corridors, and, you know, it's kind of creepy and blue and dark and at night and, it's, and underwater. Oh, I wonder if they try to scare you when, they, when you're in there. Yeah, of course. That's, 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 I don't know. Of course they do. I thought they just maybe decorated the, sharks the go, tanks. Ooh. Like, they put I mean, they go, skeletons ooh. in the water or something. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's got to be awesome. I want to <laughs> do that. Um, they also do. <laughs> but if you're not in a shark reef. <laughs> well, no, but if but, uh, Adventure Dome at Circus Circus becomes Fright Dome, which actually, that's supposed to be monumental, mm. like epic. Um, all those kind, of, those kind of attractions do these crazy Halloween themes. You look up, um, if you look up, uh, like if, if you're in town, 
Vegas Weekly. It's got all that stuff. Oh, yeah, like on the Saturday the 29th of Tau, Pure, and Joint. They're all doing, like, these Halloween parties. Well, and yeah, the, parties. the clubby If you clubs. wanted to get to, like, clubby stuff. Well, yeah, and Marilyn Manson's going to be at the bank. I don't know what he's doing there. Oh, well, I hear he's pretty broke now. Oh. <laughs> Well, but I mean, I don't know. But he, I mean, wants, he wants a couple bucks. Well, I don't know what he's doing. Is he going to stand there and scare you, or is he going to spend music? I don't know what he's supposed to. He's if he says Marilyn Manson oh, at the bank, he's not, not playing. It's not the band. It's just him. Beautiful people. Because he's standing there asking for, yeah, asking for money. Yeah. Beautiful people. The beautiful people. Chat room. The beautiful people. <laughs> There's some demonic voices people. coming oh. from uh, for Scott Halloween. Sitting. Right. The beautiful people. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> for Halloween, do you guys go to parties, or do you go out and do all these things? Uh, parties usually. Because we're so incredibly popular. That, um, <laughs> no, actually, what, um, some of our best times, we, we've hung out with the Whitney's and done some haunted houses. And so if yeah. Melissa can, you know, figure it in her heart to do it. I, I tried to pitch her on the uh, Circus Circus thing. All right. Yeah. She's like, they really scare me. In fact, I'm I know, but that's the fun it's, of it. It's for the show. It'll if be I, really funny. And she's like, but they really scare me. I know it's silly. It, it's okay, baby. All right. Right, yeah, let's go. Um, I'll say it again. I don't know. It was a four years ago, maybe five. The one of the, some of the greatest audio ever recorded by by man <laughs> is back before the Vegas Video Network. It was just the Living in Las Vegas podcast when they went to the, the haunted house oh, and, that was and recorded it. <laughs> right. Literally, uh, you know, it's 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 still one of the greatest episodes ever because <laughs> it's and it's it's just it's phenomenal. It's I mean, you know what? It puts you in the, the area though because you can hear the chainsaw coming and you can yeah. hear all the stuff. But then Melissa's just losing it the entire time. It's yeah, really I, I'm still buying jewelry for that. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, so fact, here's we, a tip, husbands. Don't do that. Right. We went with them, um, la was it last year or year before last? Two years ago. I yeah, think. yeah, last year. And, um, that was fun. Yeah, which is odd. Awesome. There's a lot of the haunted houses just like everybody else has, where they take the warehouse and they turn it into, or they put up the, the fake building. But all the clubs do something. But I think those other things, those attractions that are normally attractions, like maybe the lion habitat at MGM has now got them dressed as... Cougars. You no, know, the wax, the Madame Tussauds is doing something. The Madame Tussauds like after, is after dark. Yeah, which, I mean, you can't go wrong with this stuff. I mean, that's the thing I would, I would say to do. Because you're not going to find, like, a party here unless you live here and you got friends, you know. But, if, you know. You might. You might. But those are the things. I don't even think the clubs are going to be that great because they're not going to be any different. Um, it's just going to be. Well, there's, like, the costume contest and stuff. But you know what, you know what it's going to be? It's going to be every girl dressed as sexy version of something. And bottle oh, service. Yeah. Uh, we don't, I, I might be a, playing on the 29th. Well, we have a party this weekend. Yes, we have an annual party that we have to go to this weekend. But, um, but yeah, look, what, I might be playing on the 29th, so. We were supposed to go. Oh, I don't want to tell anybody about this. Oh, you this. should say what we're supposed to do. It's oh, awesome. this, oh, <laughs> at the Artifice. It's this new, new bar that opened here in town. See, this is the kind of stuff we leave out normally, because it's like the. But now we can't go, so we'll still play. <laughs> well, we might, we might still have to go. I don't know. <laughs> I still it looks like a play. We can't go. Artifice, new bar downtown, like in the hip area of downtown. See, this is the stuff I love. They're having a London mid-century party, Jack the Ripper themed. Yeah, that's cool. Where everybody goes in tuxes and and very London turn of the century, um, Jack the Ripper themed party on the 29th. Sounds awesome, and we'd love to go, but I might not. But be. we don't know yet, so right. kind of up in the air still. So. Yeah, but that's the kind. There's also that really hipster stuff too, so it's it's a rough call. But I would just Venture Dome, Shark Reef. Um, oh, New York, New York, uh, Brooklyn Bridge. That's something. That's a zombie themed thing. It's a zombie closed. precinct. So I it's the first time I heard about it tonight. I was right, so they're closing like, down the the Brooklyn Bridge, and they're gonna have like zombie. Speaking of that. Also, the Jimmy Buffett thing, this Saturday, they're closing down the Brooklyn Bridge for a concert on that, too, because he's playing across the street. They should have Jimmy Buffett zombies. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, big, oh, my God, that'd be great. Um, no, it wouldn't be. No? Um, zombies <laughs> with sombreros. Well, I guess that's all right. But, uh, right. right. <laughs> there you go. Um, but anyway, it doesn't happen here in Vegas, even though it does happen a couple places mentioned earlier. But it does happen on this show. That's a segment we call Last Call. Here's something I learned. Because if you want if you want to find out how to not get knocked out, knocked up, thrown out, throw up, or thrown in jail in Las Vegas, listen to me, buddy. Good Hiya. job. Good job. Yay. <laughs> Saturday night. We might have had a few too many drinks doing karaoke. Now, here's one thing that we know. We have a, really, a couple of really good friends in town that do this religiously. 
which is stay where they're, if they get too drunk, they get a room at the Imperial Palace or wherever. Um, good friend of ours, Dave, does that all the time. Wherever he's at, he's at downtown, <laughs> too drunk, go into the Fremont, get a room. So what the, what's, what's the room? 40 bucks, 50 bucks? Cheaper than a DOI. But what if you're not at a hotel? Like we weren't. Mm. We were out at Hot Shots, or uh, yeah, Hot Shots Bar. Completely smashed. I can't drive. We only live two miles from here, but I ain't doing it. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. These places don't close. You could hang out here all night. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Drink until you sober up. <laughs> yes. And so we're like, you know what? Putters across the street, they got pizza. Kitchen's open all night. They got wings. They got great strombolis. They got, and they don't close. You know what? We could hang out here for four more hours. Why not? So, you, so essentially, you can stay there all night. You know what? You just start eat. Don't leave. Don't leave. That's my tip. Don't leave. Just stay. <laughs> order a pizza. Order some wings. Order some Diet Coke, some coffee, whatever. Stay out all night. Drive home at 10 in the morning when you're sober. It's way better than trying to make it home all wobbly. And, and that's the thing. What I always hated about California, one of the things, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Get out. I'm drunk. I don't care. Get out. Well, now what are you supposed to do? So literally, how many times we drive at home in, in, in Los Angeles, and from 1.30 to 2.30, every car on the road is drunk. Everybody. Because they just kicked everybody out of the bars and clubs all at one time. It's chaos. It's one of the dumbest ideas I've ever seen. Here, it's drunks all the time. When you're driving to work, there's, you, know, you always see those, those guys. They're like, whoa. But it's not all at one time. I think, you know what? They're not kicking you out. Just because you don't want to drink anymore doesn't mean you have to go home. Go over to Potter's. Yeah, just hang out. And a lot of the bars, especially if you're close to college, that are also open all night, have movies on. We sat one night and watched both Kill Bills. That was awesome. They were just on. Like, they just had them on TBS or whatever. Or we'll be at, um, at Bootlegger. They got Spike, you know, the, the Kung Fu Theater on. Or Mansers is on. Or Mansers, whatever. <laughs> watch Mansers. We will sit literally. It's one of the things we, you know, we don't talk about a lot, but... We'll just sit there, order a pizza, whatever, and just watch TV for four hours. What a three hours, whatever, and then go home. It's like, no big deal. It's better than driving. I ain't going to do that. Nope. So that's oh, my tip. Got one more. Oh, chat room. Yeah, the Las Vegas Chamber of Commerce is on. Thank right. you. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. We should work for them. I have personally two friends of mine moving to Las Vegas Saturday from Los Angeles. Two at the same time. They're sharing a truck. That's nice. No weird. <laughs> They're escaping it on mass. Yeah, I mean that's and that's I mean that's uh, I should get some kind of. We are back. driving people from California. <laughs> I am. Like, I get yeah. there two. I mean, we get those we get those calls all the time. Yeah. We get those emails all the time yeah. on our show. Yeah, we should get a kickback. I think so too. All right, because I mean they're moving they're moving in. I think the fact I think the fact that we're arguing that if you're too drunk to stay there for four hours. Right. Right, <laughs> I think so. I think so. Just stay. That's where we made the real money here in advertising. Yeah, yeah like I said, just stay there. They're not going to kick you out for not drinking, especially when you're ordering food. Yep. I order a pizza. You, you, love, you love quesadillas. I we'll do. sit there and we'll watch. We watched both Kill Bills one night. Like, and it was great. What were we going to do? Go home and watch Kill Bill? Let's, let's do it here. Yep. So. Anyway, so if you want to get all of us, email pubcrawl at vegasvideonetwork.com. That's pubcrawl at vegasvideonetwork.com. Twitter, Twitter, DLV Locals, watch, and watch us on Roku, and Vegas Video Network, and Roku. toll free listener line. I'm still back at Roku. <laughs> well, I'm just speeding it up. Man, you gonna hurry? You got somewhere to be? I, I wouldn't know. I don't think like you're on. discovering this new every time. <laughs> right. It's fun. I like it. I know. Like we've never done this before. No. Um, Roku, awesome. We're free. You just gotta go down to the internet television. And we're at the very end, or you just go to the direction because it starts with the V. So. You're a pro at the Roku now. I am. I'm like, click, 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 boom, there it is, <laughs> on. And I can't believe how fast it is, even over Wi-Fi. I can't believe how fast it is. Is it, is it good? Yeah, it's weird. I have a computer upstairs that's on, it's on, um, you know, it's on Wi-Fi. Right. And I'm looking up, say, I don't know, a site that has lots of teddy bear videos on it. <laughs> you know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like, I, wanna, I mean, I don't know what right. you're talking oh, about. You know, you know, there's like a bunch of pit little thumbnails. You click it. It's, it's a, Thank you. Yeah, and um, it takes forever. <laughs> Roku, though, you want to see you want to see us doing pub crawl? Click, click, click. Boom! It goes. Look, there they are. There's Chaz Palminteri right there. Boom! And no right teddy bears. Right, no teddy bears. <laughs> so. Not yet. Also, oh we always thank the live studio audience. <laughs> And also and the live chat room. Thank the you. The live guys. chat room. 
Um, and remember, we're on iTunes, and we're on audio and video. So if you don't want to look at us, which I can't imagine why, you can just listen to us. <laughs> um, and leave us a review on there. We're like the number one rated <laughs> Las Vegas video podcast. About pub crawling. About, about <laughs> drinking. Yes. And remember, <laughs> pub crawl urges you to drink responsibly. Stay at the bar all night if you have to. I don't want you out there driving around when I'm driving around. Mm -mm. Um, and remember, we may leave stuff out, but we do not make stuff up. Until next week. Cheers. Cheers.